Welcome to another Genshin Impact video. Albedo is coming out soon. And he's got Fischl, Sucrose, and Bennett alongside him. Now, what do I think about this banner? Bro, this banner is amazing. All the four stars there, all the four stars are absolute beasts of support DPS. All three of them can be main DPS, but everybody already has a main DPS by now. So when you pull for four stars, you're probably thinking, uh, will I be able to use them in my team? Which you should always be thinking about, especially if you're free to play or a dolphin or a small whale. You should always be thinking about whether you can use the character. But I will tell you right now, all these three will be able to uh, jive with any type of team. Bennett, Sucrose, Fischl, any team can, can use these three. Bennett will give you amazing heals and damage buffs. Sucrose will give you elemental bonus damage if you, if you put Veridescent set on her. And she will give elemental mastery to your other characters. And CC and Swirls, Fischl will give you a bunch of Electro procs, consistent damage, consistent Electro procs without having to be on the field. All three of these characters absolutely worth your primo gems. Will I pull for these three? I'll still think about it. My problem is I only have a limited budget and I'm saving that budget for the Ganyu banner. Uh, you guys, I know you follow me and you want to see content. You want to see the new characters. You want me, you want my thoughts on new characters and stuff. But uh, complete transparency, I, I quit my job. So I don't have any more of the fixed income. And while I have made a good money on uh, ads because I make content and the content has been doing well it's getting 100k views some of them get 200k views I, I get a lot of ad revenue from them but it takes a long time for Facebook to pay that out I haven't gotten a single ad revenue penny yet hope you guys understand I'm not made of <laughs> not made of money I already have Bennett and Sucrose and Fischl my Sucrose is Max Constellation my Bennett is C1 only we could get them to C5 We'll see. Should you pull for Albedo? The simple answer is, if you like him, you should pull him. If you don't like him, don't pull him. You really should not care whether he's gonna be strong or he's gonna be weak, because any character in the game is viable. Even when uh, Jean Lee came out and a lot of people thought he was weak, he still could do everything in the game. Just pull the character if you like it. And if you have money, I mean, if you have the Primo Gems, just do it. It's a PvE game, guys. Don't get hung up on the 5 stars and the 5 star weapons. You don't even need 5 star characters. You don't even need 5 star weapons. Trust me, you don't need them. This is where I need you guys to listen. Because I care about you. Please listen carefully. Alright. If you're free to play. If you're a dolphin. If you're a small whale. I do not recommend you spend your money. Or your hard earned primo gems that you, you spent months and months saving. Why? For example, you want the Scarboard Atlas. Even though the Skyward Atlas is right up, it is shared with the Summit Shaper. So every time you hit the Pity and you get a 5 star, you're gonna roll the dice whether it's gonna be one of these two or one of the other 5 stars. Now if you get lucky, you'll get one of these two. You still have a 50% chance to get the Skyward Atlas. So you could end up with getting 2, 3, 4, 5 Summit Shapers and not get Skyward Atlas. Have you guys heard of the Tale of Third? So the third, right, my mod, he was asking in our chat, right, he was asking, uh, I'm so tempted to uh, to pull for the Wolf's Gravestone, you guys, you, do you guys think I should pull Wolf's Gravestone? I told him, dude, don't do it, don't do it, you will get disappointed, I promise you. You know what he did, you know what he did, he, he pulled, you know what he got, he got the freaking book, he got a freaking book and then he cried. <laughs> Unlike the character rate of banner. If you don't get Albedo on your first 5 star, you are guaranteed to get Albedo on your next 5 star. So there's a 100% chance to get Albedo. But in the weapons banner, there's never a 100% chance to get the Skyward Atlas if that's what you want. Or the Summit Shaper if that's what you want. So my advice is only pull for this if you like both weapons, right? Or you're a huge whale. Then go ahead, why not? But for most of you guys, I'd rather you just save your Primo Gems, use it on characters, uh, rate up characters that will appear that you want and you'll be much happier and you will not get disappointed and heartbroken like the third. The Summit Shaper 5 Star Sword is basically the same as the Unforged. If you have shields, it will be increased by 20% and you can stack an attack bonus of up to 20% at Refinement 1. If you have shields up, that attack percent bonus is doubled so you get 40% potential attack 
bonus. It's gonna be a good sword. Just be careful with weapons banner. That's all I'm saying. If you want to spend your money on the weapons banner, go ahead. Just know that Xnal warned you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if any more news about 1.2 comes out, you can be sure that we will cover it here. So make sure to follow. If you're on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube. And we have Discord of over 3,000 members, almost 4,000 now. If you want to ask about builds, if you want to join parties, uh, need help, need to craft some stuff, join our Discord. And uh, we do go live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday on fb.gg slash Gaming. Do join us if you want to have a good time. If you want to be a supporter of the content, that is an option for you. Supporter link in the description. All right. And that is it. I'll see you in the next video.